Good morning, dear students. Uh, today, lecture number four in course of tropical diseases, filariasis. Filariasis is tropical transmissible biohelminthesiasis caused with nematodes, roundworms, uh, what inhabit lymphatics uh, and subcutaneous tissues. There are eight main species of uh, of uh, filarias, what in fact human. There are Vukereria bancrofti, Brugia malai, Oncacerca volvulus, Loa loa, Mansanella uh, perstans, Mansanella streptocerca, Mansanella azardi, and Brugia timori. Uh, first two species, su such as Vukereria bancrofti and Brugia malai, cause lymphatic filariasis. Oncocerca volvulus cause oncocercosis or oncocerciasis or river blindness. Uh, the other five species uh, uh, produce uh, lymphatic uh, filariasis, uh, but complications uh, possible as in the first two groups. Possible uh, for this kind of helminths. Uh, possible development as uh, elephantiasis, lymphatic complications, as development of blindness. Lymphatic filariasis, such as Vukeririasis and Brugiasis, suspected in 76 countries of the world, and uh, more than 1 billion uh, people, uh, around 1 billion people, I live uh, uh, on uh, this uh, territory, uh, territory of risk of lymphatic filariasis. Around 90 million people are sick and uh, two-thirds of them live in China, India, Indonesia uh, and in some countries of Africa and Pacific region. Oncocerciasis distributes in 44 countries, mainly in tropical Africa, the Volta River region, Mexico, Colombia and Guatemala. The number of patients around 17 million people and around 26,000 of them are blind. Loa loa, loa, uh, loa loa disease, Calabar disease, is found only in the forest zone of West and Central Africa. Features of all microfilariasis. Uh, first of all, causative agent belongs to uh, biohelminths. It does mean that each stage of development uh, for this kind of helminths uh, will be in live organisms. Uh, it is small, thin uh, helminth. A uh, cycle of development occurs with uh, partic uh, participation uh, of the definitive host. Definitive host is human and intermediate host insect. Uh, disease has a tendency to chronic cause. Uh, uh, disease is very long and um, acute symptom may not occur. Uh, may be not realized uh, uh, for um, early stage of disease. All filariasis have the same method of diagnostic and treatment and it is good news for us as for clinical specialists. Filariasis are strictly endemic diseases registered only in countries with tropical and subtropical climate. And it is a good news again uh, for us uh, because uh, it make diagnostic scheme a, a little uh, a little more simple. Uh, general properties of all filariasis, uh, um, all, all filarias, causative agent belong to uh, uh, be sexual biohelminths, develop uh, what develop with change of host. Uh, final host is human only. Intermediate host, different variants of insects. 
uh, mosquitoes, uh, gadflies, and some other. There are two main forms for uh, these kind of parasites. The adult worm named as mac mac macrophilaria, big worm, uh, dwell in various human tissues uh, there, uh, where they can live for several years. And this long survival of helmet to uh, produce this long course of disease so than 10 years, maybe a little less, maybe a little uh, more. Uh, mostly subcutaneous tissues for oncocercosis, lower lower streptocercosis, lymphatic vessels, mostly for vukeriasis and brugiasis. Uh, brugiasis may uh, pa uh, parasite. Uh, may, may be suspected parasite in persistent in connective tissues too. Uh, females produce uh, larva mic microfilaria, ne next generation of worms, uh, which penetrate into bloodstream or, or to uh, superficial layer of skin. Uh, they do not grow and uh, uh, don't change morphologically. Uh, this form weight a bite of mosquito. Uh, land uh, of adult male, uh, uh, male form of this helmets up to 5 cm, female up to 10 cm. Microfilaria. <coughs> is very small 0.3 millimeter. The cycle of development is same for all kind of filarias. Uh, mosquito bites the human, uh, injects lava form during blood suction. Uh, uh, after that uh, lava uh, around 5-10 uh, uh, days grow in organism of mosquito uh, transform to infective stage after that bite of new uh, uh, new human who was not sick uh, uh, lava enter to the human body through the mosquito bite enter to the bloodstream and uh, reach the lymph vessels and nodes after that major to adult helmet. After that female has microfilaria and they live as parasites in uh, blood or subcutaneous tissues. Uh, all filarias has prolonged incubation uh, from two months to one year with half then helminths reach sexual uh, maturation. Uh, disease develop very slowly, as you may see from, uh, as you may suspect from incubation. Duration of disease may be more than 10 years uh, or around it. Uh, due to what uh, it is connect with time of life of macrofilaria, uh, microfilaria lives uh, ar around 70 days. On this slide, practically graphic repeating of previous information, so I demonstrate it, but will not uh, stop uh, on this slide a long time. So, all, uh, like all kinds of filariasis may be subdivided for three for, uh, for classes. Additionally, uh, first classification uh, was uh, mostly uh, lymphatic, uh, mostly uh, lymphatic with severe damage of eyes, such as oncocercosis. Uh, mixed variants such as lower lower, uh, but uh, exist one type of classification depend on quantity of microfilarias in blood. Uh, for what uh, uh, for what this classification? Uh, we as clinical specialists have 
uh, two main clinical tasks, one of them to put diagnose, second pres uh, prescription of treatment. And uh, when we must to put diagnose, of course, we use different tests. Uh, based on cycle of development, you may say for me that diagnosis of different type of microfilariasis is not uh, very difficult because uh, we may suspect microfilariasis in blood, so necessary to check blood of patient uh, for revealing of it. Uh, but uh, look on uh, this situation. There are three classes, a non-periodical form. Microfilaria are always present in blood <coughs> in constant concentration. <coughs> uh, very good uh, variant, uh, very good variant for diagnostic. Patient come to us, we check his blood, reveal microfilarias and uh, put diagnose. Subperiodical. Uh, for this situation, uh, will be constant concentration, uh, will be some constant level of microfilarias in bloodstream, but uh, will be suspected some uh, some periods uh, with very high uh, concentration. High, highest concentration may occur uh, in the same time of the day. And third type, uh, here with subperiodical, again, uh, um, diagnostic troubles not realized, we take a blood, uh, reveal microfilarias, and the diagnostic scheme uh, will be finished. Periodical, uh, periodical form practically uh, one of reason why this lecture deliver for you due to what peak of high uh, peak of concentration will be uh, observed uh, in uh, one time in day or at night, but in other time when absent with peak concentration, uh, in other time filarias are absent in bloodstream, and this form is uh, diagnosed bad. Uh, so, uh, if uh, you think that in patient possible uh, microfilariasis, or such, uh, such as vocariasis, you take uh, blood at day, uh, get negative result, uh, this does mean nothing. Uh, because, for example, for some form of microfilariasis, uh, microfilarias will be suspected in blood at night time only and that's all so single negative test it is nothing for diagnostic of microfilariasis and uh, we will speak about uh, nosologies for example vukiriasis and brugiasis both of them uh, belong to typical lymphatic microfilariasis uh, causative agent for Vukeririasis, Vukeriria Bancrofti, uh, for Brugiasis, Brugia Malai, uh, microf Macrofilarias, big worms, parasites in lymph nodes and vessels, Microfilaria in the blood. Uh, for Vukeririasis, a uh, source of infection is mankind, belong to anthropomorphic infection. For Brugiasis, situation more complete. Uh, Brugiasis play as anthropozoonotic infection, mostly zoonotic. Uh, source of infection cats, dogs, monkeys, but possible in some cases that source of infection will be human. Uh, vector. Typical transmissible, in, uh, in, uh, <coughs> uh, typical <coughs> transmissible infection. Um, uh, different variants of mosquitoes are, are, are transmitter of this kind of infection. <clears throat> what forms um, suspected um, for vukeririasis and brugiasis? Periodical form in this situation, <coughs> high concentration of microfilarias will be suspected at night, and <coughs> uh, subperiodical form. Uh, in case of subperiodical form, 
daily peak uh, the more high concentration uh, uh, is typical for wukeriasis and night peak <coughs> of concentration is typical for brugiasis for brugiasis pathogenesis is complete several um, several chain uh, uh, in uh, in these links uh, first of all sensibilization of human organism with helm uh, helmetic antigens sensibilization is typical for different uh, for different helmetic diseases uh, second problem mechanical damage of lymphatic vessels and lymph nodes uh, with adult helmets uh, with subsequent slowing or stopping of lymph flow so mechan uh, mechanical damage uh, plus uh, mechanical block uh, due to damage will be realized inflammatory infiltration of lymph vessels walls it may produce uh, uh, necrosis of a, a wall uh, of lymphatic vessels with subsequent fibrosis and obliteration uh, due to block uh, of lymph flow due to realization of fibrosis and obliteration will develop lymphosta uh, lymphostasis and, and due to it uh, varicose dilatation of vessels rupture of them lymphorea uh, lymphorea may be realized not only in the region of extremities uh, it may be realized in hollow organs and in abdominal cavity it may be very dangerous and fatal long lymphostasis uh, leads to elephantiasis of different part of the body uh, chronic lymphatic insufficiency plus elephantiasis it in each case disturbance of uh, trophic of extremities and due to it will be activation of secondary infections uh, with development of abscesses uh, trophic ul ulceration uh, and due to uh, long cause of disease due to uh, immune disturbance uh, will be realization of immune insufficiency and of course this secondary bacterial complication may be finished with development of sepsis early stage what is good news uh, early stage take from two to seven years so several years of suffering must be suspected in patients several years patient must uh, don't care about health or haven't uh, ability to visit physician uh, what may be suspected first of all allergic manifestation due to pathogenesis of this infection of what is typical development of allergic exudative erythema skin uh, edema dermatitis uh, due to persistence of microfilarias in blood may increase body temperature so named filarial fever uh, allergic dermatitis will be associated with itching uh, may develop conjunctivitis uh, so uh, first of all allergic syndrome may be repeated cases of acute lymphadenopathy and lymphangitis with increasing of body temperature weakness malaise uh, how long uh, we, uh, it will be suspected it will be suspected from several days to uh, three months in case of ukeriasis this attacks lasts from three to 15 days in case of brugiasis from three weeks to three months uh, what kind of lymphatic nodes affected more often first of all uh, inguinal lymphatic nodes and axillary lymphatic nodes uh, um, but less commonly first first of all inguinal lymph nodes uh, for lymphatic of uh, 
testes and spermatic cord are frequently involved combined with funiculitis, epidemitis, or orchitis, uh, and development of hydrocele. On this slide, uh, you may suspect lymphatic edema, elephantiasis of lower extremity. Uh, it's most, it is not early stage, but it is chronic stage if uh, we, uh, if patient don't get adequate treatment and um, of course before it not diagnosed well here uh, on this slide you may suspect photo with uh, uh, increased size of a uh, uh, right leg uh, it is again chronic lymphatic insufficiency uh, what uh, associated with late stage of infection it is not early stage uh, so what additionally may be for early stage as anaphilic pulmonary infiltrations what may remind Lofre syndrome uh, hepatosplenomegaly as anaphilia in CBC there are typical signs for um, migratory stage for different hermetic diseases often inflammation of lymph nodes uh, what may transformed to abscess uh, may be <coughs> uh, formation of ulcers uh, but uh, no, formation of um, ulcers is not uh, very typical for early stage of infection, more typical for more late stage when appear chronic lymphatic insufficiency uh, with trophic changes. Stage, stage two, stage of varicose dilatation of vessels last from two to eight years. Uh, what will be suspected? Expressed painful lymphadenopathy due to obturation of lymphatic vessels with parasites. Varicose dilatation of superficial and deep lymphatic vessels. It will produce signs of lymphostasis. Uh, next sign, rupture of lymphatic nodes uh, leads to hilaria and hematohilaria. Uh, block of lymphatic vessels may be on different levels, not only uh, at inguinal uh, lymphatic nodes. It may be uh, in kidney, in uh, urinary blade, uh, in intestine. Uh, so depend on where stop warm. Uh, uh, due to chronic lymphatic insufficiency, formation of aseptic abscess around adult helminths in the tissues, muscles, genitals, and joints may be suspected in patient too. And of course, especially dangerous uh, this situation, formation of abscesses or lymph array in the chest in, uh, in abdomen. Uh, very often this situation will be accompanied with secondary infection and development of peritonitis or MPM of, uh, uh, in, uh, if we about respiratory tract. Last practical stage, obstructive stage, develop in 10-15 years. Uh, what will be Hydrocele, a more common manifestation of ukiriasis in Africa, Egypt, Indonesia, northern India, and other countries. Uh, usually, it should be uh, preceded by uh, the funiculitis or architis, uh, maybe rupture of uh, lymph node. Uh, may, uh, due to it, may be bleeding, formation of abscess. Again, a suspected elephantiasis fever developed due to activation of secondary microflora. Uh, it is more aggressive uh, with uh, the rapid course. Uh, here, picture of obstructive st uh, stage, giant hydrocele, 
uh, there are very old photos for today practically uh, in modern situation uh, no body weight i think to this stage but it's as illustration what will be if a patient not uh, come to physician and will uh, wait several years uh, for for uh, recovering without adequate treatment lymphatic edema and elephantiasis more often affect uh, scrotum forearms uh, genitals uh, mammary glands oh, and to on the skin expressed false uh, appearance of papillomas trophic ulcers eczemas derma chronic dermatitis so it's final stage of uh, of lymphatic filariasis uh, so uh, uh, what necessary uh, to say uh, this obstructive stage treated bad practically uh, if uh, for first two stage uh, will be enough atiotropic therapy and syndrome uh, symptomatic therapy obstructive stage uh, necessary uh, to treat additionally uh, with help of surgeons and uh, it very difficult it is not veins uh, there are damage of lymphatic system and lymphatic vessels there are very gentle vessels and uh, these vessels operated not so successful as usual veins for today or uh, for example operation on artery uh, of course operations on veins or arteries is difficult too but it more technical poss uh, possibility technical possibilities for it are better than for uh, for the operation with lymphatic vessels uh, about immunity uh, here uh, from one side uh, a uh, high uh, high titer of immunoglobulin e uh, uh, from other side low reactivity of antigens to, of filaria uh, so it's uh, associated uh, with development of immunosuppression um, by develop immunosuppression it's again typical for different helminthic diseases uh, because it's necessary for effective surviving of helminths oncocercosis second name of this infection river blindness transmissible tissue tropical bio uh, bio with primary affection of skin eyes and subcutaneous lymph nodes uh, causative agent is oncocerca volvulus macrofilaria uh, parasites in subcutaneous tissue usually in the pelvis joints or head uh, female hatches about 2 million uh, microfilaria per year which live in the skin of epidermis eyeballs and lymph nodes source of infection only human uh, a vector insect uh, simulium uh, that lives near uh, re uh, rapid rivers uh, in Africa suspected two types uh, in uh, uh, savanna type more virulent more aggressive uh, more often produce blindness and forest and in forest zone for uh, a little less aggressive uh, on territory of South America where this disease suspected to damage of eyes suspected uh, more rare than in case of African type uh, pathogenesis a mechanical influence of adult parasites around which uh, will develop a so named oncocercoma uh, connective tissue node 
uh, toxic allergic effects uh, of parasites and its uh, toxic, uh, toxic effects of metabolites, especially, especially dead worms. Penetration of the lava uh, into eyeballs result, uh, produce uh, iritis or iridocyclitis or horioretinitis. Maybe keratitis, conjunctivitis, uh, but, uh, but result subsequent development of gradual sclerosis and atrophy of optic nerve and blindness. Uh, mostly, of course, it's associated with posterior uveitis, with development of horioretinitis, uh, but where problem? Problem that if a patient come uh, with uh, degeneration with atrophy of optic nerve, practically we can't help for today. If uh, anterior uveitis uh, um, may be uh, operated, uh, degeneration of retina, degeneration of optic nerve, practically we can't to restore for today. Parasite of microfilarias cause dermatitis with lymph uh, swelling of the skin or genitals, uh, low extremities and development of elephantiasis. So elephantiasis for oncocercosis is possible too. Uh, in final stage of sus suspected depigmentation, at, uh, atrophy of skin, ulceration, atrophy, uh, tro trophic ulceration is developed and complication practically same with previous leukeriasis. Incubation is about a year after finishing of incubation. Uh, first stage, early stage, again prevalence of allergic signs such as itching, local edema in the site of bite, uh, urticarial rash, subfebrile fever, maybe signs of uh, lymphadenopathy, splenomegaly, eosinophilia in the blood. Uh, what uh, what is bad for the patient? Uh, uh, but <clears throat> um, more good for diagnosis. First, where very expressed itching and swelling of skin uh, due due to it uh, due to it patient uh, more often visit physician for, for this early stage. And changing of uh, skin coloration, hyper or hyperpigmentation, so named leopard skin. Uh, may, maybe suspicion of uh, atrophy of uh, some uh, part of skin, uh, loss of skin tuga, uh, look as uh, senile de dermatitis, or um, if it is. Um, on the face, so named lion face. Now, on this uh, picture, you may suspect the, uh, on this slide, you may suspect picture with depigmentation of skin. How it possible in case of oncocercosis? Uh, maybe uh, realization of pseudoadenitis, skin bags. Uh, with subcutaneous tissues and lymph nodes. Uh, um, about dermatitis, I deliver. Maybe formation of oncocercoma. Dense, mobile, painless node with dead or a leaf microfilaria. On this picture, uh, you may suspect. Uh, uh, you may suspect in uh, axillary zone uh, this uh, formation, uh, formation of microfilaria. 
uh, usually in African uh, in Africa local uh, localized below the waist in uh, for uh, American type of upper part of the body um, but um, no, it is not strict rule Affection of lymphatic system will be associated with lymphadenitis. Signs of damage of lymphatic system practically same with pukeriasis will be lymphatic edema, orchitis, hydrocele, formation of elephantiasis of lower extremities and genitals. Where may be revealed microfilaria, of course, in blood, but it may be detected in urine, sputum, uh, lymphatic blood circulation system, saliva, cerebrospinal fluid, practically everywhere. Oncocercosis, it is systemic disease. If vucariasis, uh, brugiasis, it mostly problem of lymphatic system here it may play as systemic disease and of course more dangerous it is affection of eyes uh, signs of uh, eyes affection uh, you may read on this slide such as pruritus, uh, photophobia, blepharospasm appearance of keratitis, uh, sclerosis of hariodal vessels, uh, corneal ulcers uh, and of course uh, finish, or a finish of eyes damage is reduced with visual uh, function uh, and especially uh, dangerous neuritis and atrophy of optic nerve and blindness. If with other problem, uh, modern, ophthalmology, <coughs> modern ophthalmology may help for the patient. Uh, with atrophy of optic nerve, practically we can't to fight. So necessary to diagnose uh, this infection before realization of uh, this late stage with atrophy of optic nerve. Uh, lower lower calabas swelling uh, disease, transmissible tissue tropic uh, helmet, uh, helmet diseases, uh, characterized with different allergic reaction, edema or soft tissues, affection of eyes and genital organs. So here mixed. Uh, if in case of basic uh, 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 basic lymphatic filariasis, mostly damage of lymphatic system plus uh, uh, lymphatic system with realization of elephantiasis, most. Oncocercosis, uh, uh, skin and eyes, mostly possible development of elephantiasis too, uh, but mostly eyes here, lower, lower, uh, as uh, as elephantiasis as uh, <coughs> as eyes so, uh, <coughs> pathogen low low adult worm parasite under conjunctiva of eyes uh, may parasite in pericardium microfilaria in the blood um, and uh, uh, belong to periodical type uh, of uh, microfilariasis, um, high concentration suspected in afternoon. Uh, what is good news due to uh, uh, persistent underconjunctiva? <coughs> it will not uh, produce degeneration of optical nerve, so problem with blindness decided more simple. Source of infection human, sometimes monkey, uh, uh, vector, uh, chrysop, uh, insect from genus chrysops, what lives uh, uh, in small water uh, uh, reservoirs, uh, in, in small water lakes. Uh, adult flies uh, live in the tree and attack in the afternoon. More often, uh, it attacks the people with dark skin. Uh, pathogenesis, same with other filariasis, not ne necessary to repeat it, I think. 
incubation uh, in average four months to, to one year again long incubation after finishing of incubation again first of all allergic signs skin dermatitis subfibrile fever hyperresinophilia uh, second color swelling uh, Calabar swelling on local open part of the body, uh, body often on the extremities, uh, skin above uh, it, it is pale, hot, uh, if you press it, fossa does not remain. Um, uh, maybe signs of uh, damage of eyes with realization of conjunctivitis and signs of conjunctivitis hyperemia of conjunctiva pain in eyes so like rumation uh, what is good news helmets may be revealed visually in time of inspection of patient under conjunctiva uh, signs uh, correspondent to the place of Hellman's migration or in severe cases may be suspected not allergic signs only, maybe signs of dysuria, uh, maybe nephritic syndrome, hydrocele, meningoencephalitis. Around uh, dead worms uh, may be formation of abscess. And sometimes, as I say before, parasites may be revealed in time of usual inspection under the skin and it may come out through the skin. Now, here, uh, microscopic examination of microfilaria in blood smear and thick drop. Um, so dif different variants, Brugia malai, Oncocerca volvulus, so microworms in blood. <coughs> oh, mm, detection of microfilarias in the skin may be uh, revealed in time of biopsy of skin. Uh, for lymphatic filariasis may be revealing of it in urine. After lymoscopy detect microfilaria in anterior eye chamber for oncocercosis. Uh, finding of helminths under conjunctiva directly for lower losses. Uh, uh, maybe using of classical <coughs> immunological methods uh, with revealing of antibody to helminths as a uh, screening, uh, for example, reaction of indirect hemagglutination. Mazotti um, test with ditrazine. Uh, um, here, what is it, Mazotti test? Uh, ditrazine is one of remedy what may be used for treatment of microfilariasis. It produces death of microfilarias and uh, if uh, uh, after dosage of ditrazine in patient increase allergic signs mazotti test positive if nothing happened mazotti test negative but for today mazotti test practically not used and not only for law law for law law mazotti test never used uh, due to what? Uh, for lower law, very high level of microfilarias in blood. And if you use uh, ditrazine uh, for patient with lower law, uh, you may get anaphylactic reaction, anaphylactic shock. Uh, for other uh, for other um, kind of microfilarias, uh, you know, practically uh, in modern situation it is not used because risk of allergic reactions present. Uh, diagnose uh, may be put uh, more simple with more safety methods such as serological methods of diagnostic 
or check blood of patients several eyes and make ophthalmoscopy, uh, make simple urine test if we about uh, a usual uh, usual lymphatic uh, microfilariasis. Uh, so uh, for today, uh, Mazzotti test it's if you have haven't as a method of diagnostic if patient haven't a risk of lower law infection or uh, in this situation yes you may try to use this test but uh, mostly it has it have historical significance only for today uh, so little uh, a little uh, about diagnostic yet look uh, you uh, of course possible uh, two uh, variants of uh, diagnostic scheme one uh, possible scheme you remember about possible microfilarias you listen lecture visit uh, cause of tropical infection in time of your study and memorize it but you may forget about it if you know about this kind of infection your uh, scheme of diagnostic will be the same with uh, description description of it in lecture if you don't remember about this infection uh, you may to uh, you may reveal it logically look in patient in each case will be fever what we must do if we uh, suspect fever in patient we must check him uh, for malaria uh, and in case of uh, checking of blood for malaria we use same type of coloration uh, with uh, microfilariasis it will be again coloration of blood by gimza so patient have temperature allergic signs but you remember only one universal rule in uh, in tropics every patient with increased body temperature must be checked several times for malaria that's all uh, you check several times uh, his blood or her blood for malaria you don't remember about microfilariasis but laboratory reported to you that was revealed microfilarias so and after that you confirm diagnosis but you must uh, remember that blood must be taken several times and in different uh, hours really if uh, we about microfilariasis especially periodical form blood must be taken uh, around three times at afternoon daily at night uh, at, at the morning so several times take blood of patient if you don't remember about other possible uh, variants of diagnostic of microfilariasis treatment uh, treatment uh, described uh, here uh, scheme uh, effective in acute and chronic stage for microfilariasis 6 mg per kg daily uh, in lower law necessary to use half dose of remedy uh, with gradual increasing uh, uh, in three four times uh, uh, for oncocercosis may be used suramine uh, and very good remedies what appear at last years Iv ivermectin scheme more simple 150 mg per kg one time in six months not so complete as dietyl carbamazine not so complete uh, as suramine uh, but uh, effective for the treatment of different kinds of microfilariasis 
Of course, parallelly with it necessary to remember about symptomatic therapy in case of obstructive, uh, obstructive stage necessary uh, to use surgical care uh, and of course therapy of complication. In each case we'll be using of antihistamine remedies, non-steroid anti-inflammatory remedies. In periods of attack of disease will be necessary to make detoxification, uh, but main uh, for this uh, kind of disease, of course, etiotropic therapy uh, with eradication of parasites. And practically, that's all what I wanted to deliver today about uh, filariasis. Uh, prevention, um, as usually for helmetic diseases, belong to non specific measures. They are uh, uh, struggle uh, fighting with intermediative hosts, uh, improvement of uh, the source of invasion, first of all revealing and, th and therapy of sick people, uh, sanitary hygienic measures, uh, if possible individual uh, prevention, uh, health education of population and sanitary supervision over natural sources of infection. Of course, first of all, uh, first of all, it's development of a medical care system. Uh, because if patient uh, may without troubles visit physician, will be fast revealing of a reason of disease uh, and uh, due to it, uh, fast prescription of etiotropic therapy and due to it pa <clears throat> patient will not suffer several years uh, disease not transformed to obstructive for example stage and elephantiasis and other dangerous complications not developing uh, him or her um, no. other other, of course, connect mostly with uh, common level of uh, de uh, development of country. That's all what I wanted to say. Uh, uh, um, um, be healthy and happy. And uh, don't forget about vaccination to modern infections. Uh, so uh, uh, that's off for today.